So I want to talk quickly about creating friction with the checkout process or essentially the idea of removing friction for better conversions. Uh, it's not a crazy concept, but it's really interesting to see how this plays out in, in two really different realms, right? So I was looking at Facebook's new MetaQuest 3, which comes out uh, in two days from when this video is being shot and I actually ordered two headsets and uh, two head straps and all that stuff because I I'm I'm a believer that the metaverse is gonna be a lot bigger than a lot of people think right now, and I wanna basically buy every generation to test it out, see where we're at, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but here's what's really interesting, right? So, okay, here's your Quest 3. So say I'm like, all right, I'm gonna order it now, and I hit pre-order. Uh, first of all, you can kind of choose your storage size. Now, let's say you're doing the 128, mm -hmm. right? The next thing it does is it says, you upgrade your MetaQuest, add an Elite Strap to upgrade your experience, but it gives you these three options, However, I have, like, when I was doing this this morning, actually buying it, it's like, I, but my immediate thought is like, I have no idea what's what. I'm like, okay, like, the regular strap doesn't really look that comfortable, so I probably want an elite strap, but then I'm like, well, how about the battery? But if I click it, it doesn't really give you any, like, additional information based on the one you, you press. Like, the, the graphic changes, and you see the battery, it's like, how long is the battery life, right? Like... How much extra battery do I get? Is it comfortable? Is it not comfortable? Is it like, you know, something that hurt, like hurts your head? Um, you know, the elite strap, like I, there's no reason to buy. And that becomes what you call, you know, sort of like, um, well, there's like a paralysis, like a decision paralysis, right? Uh, because this is a huge point of friction. And so it's kind of hilarious because Facebook, right, is obviously a massive company with a however many hundred billion dollar market cap, uh, but it creates friction. And now here's the funny parallel. Okay, so I became CMO of a company that's doing peptides, so like Ozempic, uh, semaglutide, all that kind of stuff. I hope my dog's eating something down below me. <laughs> I don't know what he's eating. Uh, and we're you know launching pretty soon here. But okay, this is the current landing page, just sort of like SEO type stuff. I've got to do uh, other ones. It's really cool, right? For example, semaglutide, three ninety nine a month, um, and there's no friction. I there's too much copy on this right now. I need to, to modify this. But here's what's interesting, right? Obviously, this is for you know. People have to be doctor approved and all that kind of stuff. So basically, you go, uh, you click the get started button, you pick which one you want, and then from there, you know, you have to answer questions. A doctor, a licensed medical doctor in the US reviews it. If you know, you're approved, uh, it gets sent to a pharmacy, gets sent to your house, all that kind of stuff. But what's one thing we need to update here? Yes, you can click learn more on this, but if I click learn more, it pops up. So it's not bad, but honestly, like, we probably need something just for even without the learn more. It just sort of has some kind of like, like what it like basically compounded semaglutide is just generic of this. And it's $3.99 a month versus whatever these are per month, like $1,400, $1,500, whatever it is. But if you, the way this page is right now for us is like you don't really know the difference. You probably just go for Zempic because you got like a Zempic. All right, cool. But then you get to, you know, through this whole process, you know, buy now. If you click buy now, $13.99. All right, cool. Buy now, $3.99. And it's like... Um, it'd just be good to know stuff on this page. Otherwise, there's that same idea of uh, paralysis. I actually think it's a little bit better on this page from us than from Facebook because at least you can click learn more and see a pop-up. I think we could sort of improve this copy a little bit, though, improve this copy a little bit. Uh, but that's really it. The whole idea is, again, just like creating points of friction that are, you know, potentially detrimental. And I think if I go to like, let's go with the elite strap here. I can't remember if there's another piece of friction too. I'm going to pause it for a minute and see. Yeah, so that was the primary thing. Although I will say when I was first checking out, right, you have to have everything um, filled out. And I put my number and I didn't notice the email and I couldn't do continue payment. And I sort of was like, what's happening? And then realized my email. So they could also even have asterisks or something like that with each one of these checkout forms just so you can see. Now, again, admittedly, I'm doing this on desktop and not mobile. Um, but regardless, that was it. Short video. I just wanted to share sort of why, like, again, a really interesting point of friction and how, you know, you, people, a huge mistake companies make is overestimating uh, the knowledge or, you know, assuming that their customer is going to know what to do and they don't often. And so even with my stuff, now I ended up going and going to YouTube and looking up the different headbands and figuring out which one. And I basically bought one normal elite and one battery elite strap or whatever. I also, you know, I'm on the more affluent side. So, you know, it was not as big of a decision for me, but for somebody who, it's already a reach or a stretch to, to order this. And then they got to like 
do I spend the extra money? And then they don't, and again, they don't even know what the benefits are. The thing where I think Facebook could just clearly better optimize their checkout page by, or their order add to cart page by, by giving you more information on what the straps are, what the benefits are, a comparison, something like that. Um, and it's kind of a huge mistake, for my opinion, that they don't, that will probably cost them sales, especially for a company like Facebook, where I, that, that single mistake is, is probably going to, you know, probably costing them or will cost them, is costing them whatever, you know, I don't know how much the, these units, you know, do in total revenue, but I'm sure tens of millions of dollars, if not more. I'm sure Facebook's a massive company, but you know what, man, if Facebook, you want to just add that in and send me the tens of millions of dollars, I'll take it. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously like subscribe, whatever, all that stuff for my YouTube. If uh, you watch it there and uh, have a great day.